Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to give you some information about a lesson that I received throughout many years in my life from many different sources. One was a mathematician, one was a, an economist, and of course, other people such as preachers and parents and you know anybody that cares about you also talk about this as well. But I wanted to gather all that information and give it to you in one video today. Here it goes. I was taking a microeconomics class back in the 90s and my teacher was an author but in this occasion my instructor wasn't talking about anything but economics but the way I received that information was a lot deeper for me. In his lesson he was talking about the long-term trends versus short-term trends and he asked the class is this a downward trend or is this a positive trend? 90% of the class raised their hand and said this is a negative trend. I was the only one in class who raised my hand and said this is a positive trend. The reason why is because I was so high in math that I knew my parabolas and this is actually one half of a positive parabola. So now we can see that this is actually a positive trend. So many people don't have the long-term outlook in their lives to see what's going to happen 10, 15, or 20 years down the road. So it's important that just because you are in a negative situation or maybe a company is in a negative situation, that it doesn't mean that they're not making positive strides to turn around that company and that they won't be in a positive situation in the future. Also, I want to note that this formula, this parabola, is the same no matter where you are. If you're just beginning and you're here, it's the same formula. If you're on the bottom, it's the same formula. If you're on the way up, it's the same formula. And the reason why it's the same formula is because if you have positive aspects in your life, or let's say an acceleration, if you have an acceleration in your life, you're going to make changes in your life. For example, if you're going in reverse, but you're acceleration is positive, eventually the car is going to stop and then because the acceleration is positive, eventually that car is gonna end up going in a positive direction. So in life, it's exactly the same. Just because we're in a negative situation doesn't mean we're not in a positive trend where in the future, we can actually be in a positive situation. Now the key is here to not change the acceleration so once we're once we're in a negative situation and we identify that trend we have to make changes in our life for example if we have a lot of debt we have to get a job you know or possibly another job and we have to pay off that debt perhaps we had a situation that caused that debt well we have to get rid of that situation to stop the flow of debt or maybe we have negative people in our lives and we have to get rid of those viral people and you know, just getting rid of those negative people will stop the negative trend. So once we stop the negative trend, we're gonna find ourselves here on a flat line. So we're still gonna be negative. We're still gonna be negative, but we're not gonna be getting worse. But obviously that's not enough. Stopping the negative trends is not enough to get us back. It's important to note also that people will work so hard to stop a negative trend, but they won't work as hard to get them into a positive situation. Instead of reaching out for something good, people will settle for something okay. And instead of reaching out for something great, people will settle for something good. So it's important to note that actions continuously have to occur to find yourself in a positive situation. Just like you took action here to stop the negative trend, you have to take action on the way up to continuously make improvements in your life. So it doesn't seem like a lot of information, but it can be very imperative that you look at the long-term trend in your life. Just because you're in a negative situation, you're in a negative aspect today or next week, it doesn't mean that God doesn't have something positive for you in the future. Continue to make strides in your life, look at the long-term trend, and see that positivity working in your life. It's all one formula, guys. Just because you're going downward doesn't mean you're not coming right back up. I hope this helps you to look at the long-term trend and to make positive changes in your life. Don't get stuck looking at the negative aspects about how your life sucks so bad today when tomorrow it could be excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourself.